Hey there. Well, this mud puddle may not look like much, but uh, it's the most productive I've been while I've been here on the farm. Um, I didn't realize this when I made my plans to be here, but midsummer, there's not a whole lot going on at a cattle farm. Cattle are all out in pasture, and uh, I mean, I've barely seen them this week. Um, so my plan of working on the farm while I film, I haven't been that busy. But um, when I have been busy, this is what I've been accomplishing. Um, there used to be a corral here. It was all fenced in, and we spent half a day tearing that fence down. And my role was to yank nails out of the boards that we were pulling off, um, because they're going to reuse these 40-year-old boards, some of them. Um, you know, some of them are better than others. This one you can reuse, this one maybe not. Once the fence was down, the next step was to bring the tractor in and uh, smooth it all out because, um, well, let's just say after 40 years you get a little bit of cow shit. Um, it was piled up maybe a foot, two feet. Um, yeah, that there, that is a pile of cow shit. This is what I'm standing in. This is cow shit. It's mostly decomposed at this point, but not entirely. Anyway, the reason I'm still standing here instead of uh, building a calving shed, which is what's going here next, is it's been a little bit wet around here. Uh, we've had two thunderstorms uh, since I've gotten here, and um, we can't get the fence pounder in here like this. Uh, the machine would just get stuck. As you can see, this mud is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, we can't uh, build anything until it dries out a little bit. And, well, we're hoping this week, but uh, there's another thunderstorm scheduled for Tuesday, so who knows. Anyway, this empty corral kind of sums up my week. There hasn't been a whole lot to do, and there hasn't been a whole lot of cows. Um, I did manage to get out to the pasture once or twice, um, and uh, I realized that cows aren't like vegetables. They um, are thinking beings, and so when I show up with a camera, they kind of react to it. And humans, I can tell, well, you know, just do your normal thing. I can't tell cows that. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to deal with that. Um, but uh, yeah, Susan had to um, take down a fence and combine two of the herds that she has on pasture. So I went along to film that. And these cows were supposed to go through that gate. And they didn't, because I was there with the camera. I was spooking them. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to deal with this yet. Um, you know, I want to get some cow footage doing what cows do, and if the cows see me with a camera, they don't do what I want them to do. So I don't know if I just have to be patient and get them used to the camera or what, but um, yeah, getting cows to perform, not as easy as getting humans to perform. Anyway, uh, assuming I do eventually get some cow performances, uh, you'll be able to see some of them uh, on this YouTube channel here, you can subscribe. Um, or, uh, I mean, the real deal is the documentary, which um, you can follow at thehandsthatfeedus.ca. Uh, you can subscribe to a newsletter there. Or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you next week.